So guys, we're going to talk about Mary J. Blige. You know, she had came out on her interview yesterday that when she used to attend the parties, she said that it was her rite of passage. See, when, when they leaked Mary J. Blige's video and she was getting that thing put on her, she said that it was. See, but that, but she, but at least she admits to it. She said, you know, I was young and wild back in my younger days. But y'all youngsters, y'all not old enough to remember that. See, I'm born and raised in Las Vegas. When she used to mess with K from Jodeci, I remember she was so high one time at the concert. She was like, hello, Los Angeles, Las Vegas. But this is during the time, man, when Diddy groomed her. You know, Diddy actually wrote her, whether you know that or not. But she was definitely one of her participants for that party. And she definitely may come up on that with. Do your research, man. And keep messing with your boy coach once that mary j blige love to get parties even though diddy has had a significant influence in hip-hop for a long time recent events have painted a less positive view of his legacy based on federal government investigations it was determined that diddy and some of his associates had a history of inappropriate behavior that included compulsion especially against women these accusations are of a severe nature they demonstrate how he routinely used his position of power and influence to lure women into abusive situations masquerading as loving partnerships. These accusations are thus regarded as serious. The federal government's release of Diddy's records allegedly exposed a concerning pattern in which the singer used his notoriety to control and dominate women by pressuring them into participating in activities. Diddy is accused of manipulating women in this way. The implications of these accusations are noteworthy because they raise not only moral questions but also the potential for criminal prosecution under the RICO Act, which focuses on organized crime. Diddy and Mary J. Bleach have had a rocky and sometimes contentious relationship spanning more than three decades. Diddy produced several of Mary's early successes, most notably her groundbreaking first album, Watts. The 411, and he had a significant role in the songwriting process. Their relationship seemed to thrive in the vibrant environment of the 1990s, a period when both performers were simultaneously becoming well-known. A blue thing, some kind of... I honestly don't. You gotta yeah, like somebody. Cool. I don't you got a little lunch friend, somebody. Mm -mm. We... I don't think... I don't think he's in America. I keep saying that. <laughs> Men have been ran through. Mm-hmm, that's true. All the... <laughs> Now, no, I'm serious. It's really a shortage. I said what I said. <laughs> are, you, are you dating? You know. you know who I'm dating? Yourself. Right. I really am. No, I'll be going on. It's I'll take myself to dinner. It's powerful. It's powerful. I, I take <laughs> much information, but yeah. We get you. I am dating myself. Conversely, their relationship hasn't exactly been smooth sailing. A number of personal problems plagued Mary J. Blige, including struggles with drug abuse in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Throughout this tumultuous time, her and Diddy's relationship worsened, leading to a major divorce between them. That nasty, bitter feeling, you know. That terrible feeling is something I dislike because it is not mine, it is yours. I had to move on, but you did what you had to do. Mary later said that she was to blame for this breakdown and that she could not continue to have personal and professional interactions because of the challenges she was facing in her personal life. Despite these challenges, the couple managed to get back together and put on the impression of being inseparable for a while. That have been leveled at Diddy, their friendship seems to outweigh any past problems. The federal probe against Diddy is gathering momentum, which suggests that the tide has significantly changed. Concerns have been raised because Mary J. Blige has started to isolate herself from the music business as the accusations against Diddy continue to heat up. What is the one question you would want to ask that no one has asked?
Given the peculiar timing of her break from their long-standing connection, a lot of people are prone to conjecture about her motivations. Mary has been posting mysterious messages on social media lately, giving the idea that she is reassessing her relationships and setting new boundaries. One potential interpretation of such a move is that she is making an attempt to defend her reputation in light of the continually worsening conditions around Diddy. It seems sense that Mary would want to keep a certain distance from Diddy given that the federal government is allegedly interested in everybody connected to him, including his family and close associates. People who are close to Diddy may experience a cascade of legal consequences as a result of his purported actions. It's possible that Diddy may face RICO charges, which allow the government to file criminal charges against those connected to organized crime. All over and over again. So, I hate that. So what's the, what's the one question that nobody has asked you that you want them to ask? I don't want them to ask. Ah. So don't ask me. Oh, okay. So you'd rather not do the interview at all? I'd rather not. Huh. Should it come to light that they were complicit in his offenses? Mary and other people who have had a close relationship with him may likewise be the target of investigations and maybe legal action. The situation is even more complicated than it was before because of claims that Diddy's friends, including his kids, have already been entangled in the court battle. The Federal Bureau of Probe FBI raiding his residences and detaining individuals in his immediate vicinity are signs that the authorities are conducting a thorough probe. With the massive accusations hanging over her, Mary's choice to remove herself from the matter could have been a planned maneuver to stay out of legal problems. Diddy's relationships with women have been the subject of earlier charges and speculations, which adds credence to the accusations leveled against him. There have been reports that Diddy acted, acted inappropriately against Mary, including claims that he forced her into difficult situations when they were together. In earlier conversations, Mary has brought up these troubling relationships many times, she has told tales that seem to suggest that her relationship with Diddy was not only a professional one, but also emotionally taxing. As she has described in her own words, Mary has said that she has suffered from severe personal trauma as a consequence of sometimes feeling under pressure and manipulated. Her past experiences suggest that she has struggled in the past, which might become apparent in light of the ongoing investigations. This complicates her present predicament. The sad vocalist Aaliyah is among this story's most eerie elements. For years there has been dispute and conjecture about her death in an aircraft accident. There have been rumours circulating that she had material that may have implicated Diddy as well as R. Kelly, who was formerly controversially connected to her. The drama that is developing is further complicated by Mary J. Blige's earlier remarks on Aaliyah's death. Mary described Aaliyah's death as a spiritual murder after she passed away, suggesting that there was more to the tale than what first seemed. Mary may play an even more crucial part in the continuing inquiry if she is aware of Aaliyah's death and any possible connections to Diddy. The government inquiry is now ongoing and everyone involved is playing with very high stakes. Diddy's reputation is fast collapsing, and a lot of his erstwhile friends and colleagues are starting to turn away from him. This departure is significant because it implies that allegiance may be compromised in the face of possible legal repercussions. Mary J. Blige's purported assistance to the federal government raises concerns about her personal involvement. Even if she used to stand with Diddy, the tides can force her to go in a new direction. It wouldn't be shocking to see Mary go the same path if she feels it may protect her future if insiders are really flipping to get immunity. The public's response to this growing tragedy has therefore been a combination of shock, indignation, and curiosity. Social media has been used by Diddy and Mary's fans to voice their opinions, with many feeling deceived by the findings. Mary has been accused of hypocrisy by others, who claim that she has long been involved in Diddy's conduct and is now trying to protect herself as things become worse. The entertainment sector is responding to these changes as well. Artists and executives could reconsider their affiliations with Diddy and his colleagues when more information becomes available. Three, who was a victim of Sean Carter. Yeah. Mary J, who was a victim of Sean Combs, are sitting there of Aaliyah. Uh. Since the hacks may have a significant impact, they may alter the nature of future industry ventures, sponsorships, and partnerships. Diddy and Mary J Blige's story is far from done. More information about the FBI inquiry is probably going to come to light, further complicating the story.
Although both musicians have had a huge influence on society and music, the accusations that might ultimately determine their careers are now threatening their legacies. The decision Mary J. Blige must make between self-preservation and loyalty has become more and more important. Her career and personal story will be shaped by her decision to either collaborate with authorities or keep her distance from Diddy. The repercussions of these charges go well. Beyond the lives of those directly implicated, and the whole globe will be watching with bated breath. It would be interesting to see whether Mary comes out as the story develops, or if she manages to get through these rough seas without causing any further trouble. In the realm of celebrity, it is evident that the truth may be both deceptive and harmful. Tell us about the controversy, please. In the realm of celebrity, it is evident that the truth may be both deceptive and harmful.